Welcome to Fishing with Steve D and in today's video we're talking about a few tips on catching South East Queensland Big Barramundi and we're starting right now. Okay Nathan's on and then there's fish everywhere buffing on the surface. He's hit this live bait. Look at all the ripples in the water there. There's three of them here. They are coming on this afternoon. And uh, Nathan, this is the third fish you've caught, is it? Yeah. That's a... Yes, that's a good one. That's it. Take your time. Pump it. Use the fish's. Use the fish's weight. Pump it back. Wind it down. Pump it back. Wind it down. But if he takes off, put the rod forward. That's another good one. And another book to the left here, they're booking everywhere. Okay, I've got the net. And that's it. That's it. Bring him in this way, pump him this way a bit, turn him this way a bit. A little bit more. I just wanted to jump. <laughs> it's all comfy, oh, 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 hang on. Oh, come here. Oh, right. Here we go, another one for oh, Nathan. He's a 80 centimeter fish. Oh, gee. Right. So, what we'll do. Bring him on the grass, mate. Put him on the grass. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 79. You'd be happy with that, Nathan? That's a, that's a good effort. Yeah. 79. Then a meter for Lloyd Boy. Park. Barra Park. Barra. All right, pick him up now. So pick him up and hold under his belly. Yeah, you're right. That's it. All right, so. All right, walk him over. We keep him down low as he can in case he flicks. You're right. That's it, put one foot in the water there. Now look up. Good, that's a good shot. Okay, grab him by the tail and flick him out, push him out. He's gone. Woo. There you go. Not bad for a beginner, mate. You see, folks, anybody can do it here at the Bly Bly Barrel Park. Alright, folks, we've got another nibble here at the Bly Bly Barrel Park. Having a blinder afternoon, picking up the fish. Oh, yeah. Here we 
go. This is a nice 65 centimetre to end the day. Not the biggest, but uh, I tell you what, it fought pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're going to put on the rag mat, all right? The lie detector. <laughs> Let's have a look. I've still got it though, 65 when Steve takes his thumb out. 69, 69, 69, all right. Yeah, centimetres. Yeah, fair. All right. Okay, so we're going to put him back in. So, we just slope him down. Like that, grab him by the tail. And out he goes. It's as easy as that. Okay, folks. We're hooked up here at the YY Barrapire. So, I hope so. It's a lot of fun, folks. Southeast Queensland barra fishing at its best. It's a slow morning, but they're coming on with a vengeance this afternoon. He actually, uh, I could have had to stick a line on. Oh. 14 pound wasn't enough. Well, folks, win some, you lose some. What a lot of fun. The moral of the story is to use at least 20 pound fluorocarbon, not 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. When he come and jumped, he was nearly beat. We nearly had him into the net. And he cut us off with his gill rakers. So you need thicker leader. Oh well, a lot of fun. I enjoyed the fight anyway, even though it's three quarters of the fight. Let's get another one. Okay, when you go barra fishing, you need the best quality fluorocarbon leader. I personally would recommend the Gamma, and I would start at 20 pound. Now you'll see in the videos that we're gonna put up there's one particular clip there where I actually get cut off because I'm using too light a line. 14 pound is not heavy enough. It's okay for the bass, but no good for the barra. So you must start at 20 pound gamma fluorocarbon. Gamma fluorocarbon edge for uh, the leaders because it's actually a bit thicker and it's molecularly altered. So it's got more cells per inch, which makes it very tough. It's a lot tougher than any other fluorocarbon I've used. I've been using it for up to seven or eight years and it is really, really good. It's going to improve your catches, especially the big meter plus barra. Now, this is the other secret that we've been catching quite a few fish on is the jelly prawn color, clear with silver fleck. It has been catching quite a few good quality fish. And um, I've designed this color. It's the triple S material, which stands for super strong stretchy material. If you want any of these, let me know. In the uh, jelly prawn, um, in the six centimeter, we might bring out a 10 centimeter for the barra as well. And also if you want any fluorocarbon uh, gamma brand, just let me know guys, I'll be able to help you out. Well, if you really enjoyed this video on how to catch Barra Mundi in Southeast Queensland, uh, send me a like on this video with a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and please share it to all your fishing friends. Now, if you want to catch some big Southeast Queensland Barra like you've seen in the video clips, check out Bly Bly Barra Park. Big Barra in Southeast Queensland for everybody to catch. I'm Fisherman Steve D. Until next time, God bless.